Good morning everyone, this is Angelo Zittis from IronFX bringing you the morning comment for the 25th of May. Trump King meeting cancelled. President Donald Trump cancelled his planned meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un scheduled for June 12th in Singapore. Trump's decision was communicated Thursday in a letter released by the White House. North Korea said it was surprised by President Trump's decision to cancel the meeting and that they are still willing to meet the US North Korea made a show of destroying its main nuclear weapons test site earlier on Thursday, with witnesses a group of foreign journalists. There was no independent verification that the site was disabled, nor confirmation for further weapons development. Further discouragement regarding the US-North Korean officials' meeting could strengthen safe havens. USDJPY could have entered the sideways movement yesterday as it tested the 10976 resistance line and the 10895 support line. We see the case for the pair to continue to trade in a sideways manner today. However, please be advised that further fundamental developments and financial releases could influence the pair's direction. Should the pair come under selling interest, we could see it breaking the 10895 support line and aim for the 10853 support level. Should the pair find fresh buying orders along its path, we could see it breaking the 10976 resistance line and aim for the 11045 resistance hurdle. Brexit progress remains clouded. According to media, EU officials stated that little progress was made on the Irish border issue, while at the same time dismissed as fantasy some main UK Brexit demands. EU officials also blamed the UK of not being able to realise that Brexit will set a distance between the EU and the UK. In the UK political scene, UK government officials stated that the key Brexit legislation could return to the Parliament in a matter of weeks. We see the case for such a development to constitute another test for Theresa May's Brexit policy. The UK cabinet remains deeply divided and seems to be rapidly running out of time to reach an October agreement with the EU, increasing the pressure and making any possible agreement harder to reach. Should there be further negative headlines about Brexit, we could see the pound weakening. Cable traded in a sideways manner yesterday, testing the 134.25 resistance line and bouncing back. It could be the case that a slightly bearish trend line is forming in the four hour chart that was incepted on the 14th of May. Hence, the pair could move in a sideways manner today with some bearish tendencies. Should the bears take the reins, we could see the pair breaking the 133.30 support line. Should the bulls be in the driver's seat, cable could break the before mentioned downward trend line and the 134.25 resistance line and the 135 resistance hurdle. In today's other economic highlights, in the European session, we get Germany's E4 business climate indicator for May and UK's second release of the preliminary GDP growth rate for quarter one. In the American session, we get the US durable goods orders growth rates for April, as well as the final release of the University of Michigan consumer sentiment indicator for May. As for speakers, German Buba President Jens Weidmann, Bank of England Governor Mark Carney, Fed Chair, Jerome Powell, ECB Benoit Kaur, FOMC member Bostich and Evans, as well as Dallas Fed President Kaplan speak. For more information, please read the full comment on rnfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Angelo Zitis from RNFX wishing you solid trading.